Burger, the general store on 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got today? Here we go. Dozens of people had to be rescued from their homes in North Carolina on Tuesday afternoon as thunderstorms dumped heavy rain across the mm. south. According to the officials there, just northeast of Charlotte, 30 people had to be rescued in their neighborhoods. Several streets are in low-lying areas of the city. It has to be closed due to the flooding. No injuries have been reported so far, but what a scary situation. Now, what is this, like the effects of those? Is that what we're getting now? I think it's the that same storm system, yeah. Yeah, so between yeah. now and the weekend or whatever, mm -hmm. after the weekend. It'll come up the coast. Oh, boy. Yeah. It keeps changing, too, by the way. I've been following the storm, and, like, last night, I told you, it was, like, Sunday and Monday. I'm like, oh, now it's going to be partly sunny now. But then this morning, it's right back to it the switched. rain. So, I'm telling you, the most accurate weather is right there on your phone. So, what do you mean? You think it's pretty accurate? On your phone? Yeah. Yeah, it's constantly changing. Okay. It's up to date. That's the most accurate weather. Oh, I thought you were going to... No, never mind. I won't say it. <laughs> What, you? No, no. <laughs> what, no, you? No, 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 never mind. <laughs> what, our buddy Mikey? Yeah. Oh, no, he is pretty accurate. He's the most accurate. Mikey Lichniak? Yeah. No, shout out to him, Mikey Lichniak. <laughs> Love him. Yeah, look, we shout out to him. He's a P1 <laughs> listener. He listened to us in between his uh, weather breaks. Also, shout out to I our didn't partners. Know if you wanted to, like, you know, give shout outs to our local guy. Channel 47, <laughs> yes. Channel for Ulysses Garcia. Channel 47, they do They're a great the job. Most accurate. Yes, they do a great job. I mean, you know, Dan be guessing, but everybody else is pretty good. I knew it. I knew that was coming. That's what I was trying to stay away from. Stay away. Dan be guessing. <laughs> you, know, we don't, you know, we don't stay away from nothing. No, for real, for real. I think one of the most accurate forecasts. I mean, look, come on. Everybody's looking for an accurate forecast right. all the time. Yeah. We're always looking for the most accurate. Yeah, of course. To me, the most accurate up to date is normally right here on right the good old phone, phone. Right? I, I mean, am I lying or, or what? Am I right or right? You know, the worst one for me, I feel. The worst weather forecast? The worst is yeah. Alexa. But isn't that the same as the weather I don't app? know what it is or... It's the worst. You can say, Alexa, what's the weather today? And she'll say, it's raining, high of 68. And then you look outside, there's no rain. All right, let's find out. <laughs> hey, Alexa. Oh, no, well, I no, have this. No, because that's Siri. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Siri. It's early. It's early. What's the weather like today? Expect rain today. <laughs> that's it. Expect rain today. What okay. about tonight? Hey, Siri, what's the weather like today and tonight? Looks like rain today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 69 degrees, with overnight lows around 63. All right, that's good. Hey, Siri, when is it going to stop mm -hmm. raining? It'll probably clear up on Thursday, the 29th of June. The 29th of June. Right? Today's okay. the 21st. No, it will probably clear up on Thursday. the 29th of June. Oh, uh, you know what? That's all fake. You know what? That old fake. Oh, that was the best. You know, that old fake. You know, screw that weather. Oh, my gosh. It will probably clear up on the 29th of June. Hey, Siri. <laughs> eat me. Hmm? I won't respond to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what? You're now fake. That was the most. You, you know what? You're a fake app. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh wow. Just what else is going okay. on? All right. Who? Let's get back on track here. A Pittsville home was heavily damaged by a fire on Monday night. Firefighters with the Pittsville Volunteer Fire Department responded a home on Railroad Avenue shortly before 11 p.m. Crews were able to contain the blaze in about 30 minutes. They responded to the scene. They determined that it was an accidental fire. It's estimated to be $100,000 in damages. We are told that one juvenile was evaluated by, at the scene by EMS. The home's occupants are being assisted by the American Red Cross. After nearly 15 years, the Salisbury Zoo director Leonora Dillon has announced and made an announcement that she will retire. 
She joined the zoo in 2008 as the education curator and worked with Adventure Children's Museum in Columbia, South Carolina. She then went on to be the director of the Salisbury Zoo in 2020. Her retirement will take effect on June the 30th. And I know we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but here's the update for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic. Fourth of July fireworks are scheduled for Ocean City. Okay. All right. Everything is set and ready to go. Everything will kick off at 930. They're telling everybody to get into town early, grab a bite to eat, and bring your patience. Okay. The fireworks are free and open to all. If you do plan to attend, bring a blanket or a beach chair. Town officials are also asking drivers to consider taking the bus. Parking is expected to be hard to find. Bus fares are $4 daily. All right, there God, you go. Really? $4? Yeah, daily. Yes. Man. But they're telling everybody. Price went up. Pack your patience. Pack your patience. All right. I got plenty of it, so. Pack your patience. It's all good. Uh, 640, we got sports on the way. Here's DDG. Good morning.